Hello everyone, my name is Philip Edu. Uh, I'll just take this opportunity to briefly present you some of the differences between uh, traditional research, action research, and program evaluation. And um, this why this is very basic. Um, so looking at the ultimate goal, in terms of the traditional research, your goal is to contribute to the knowledge in the field, the knowledge in your field. So this means that in order to contribute to something, you have to know what has already been done, right? So that's why when you're doing a traditional research, you have to review literature to find out what has been done so that you'll be able to um, identify um, the gap or the research problem that you plan to address. So there are many ways to identify a research problem. Um, you could look at maybe if there's a methodology flaw um, in the existing studies, you can uh, conduct research to maybe correct the flaw that you have seen. Uh, then maybe there's um, contradictory result, result uh, from the previous study. Um, you can also do the research to see what um, is going on with the phenomenon that you already study. So, um, you have to identify a problem in the literature before you contribute to the knowledge or address the problem that you want to, uh, um, you, you have identified. So, the ultimate goal of a traditional research is to contribute to the knowledge in the field, right? But when it comes to action research, is to improve the professional practice, right? Normally, you conduct action research when you have identified a problem in your professional practice as you are carrying out your professional responsibilities. You encounter a problem and you want to address that problem, right? So, you want to address a problem by maybe conducting research to maybe understand the problem and then develop an action plan to be able to address the problem. Or you want to um, uh, implement a solution and see whether to be able to, the solution be able to solve the problem or that intervention will be able to address the problem that you have identified, right? So the ultimate goal is to address they all improve the professional practice concerning the action research. Concerning program evaluation, as the name implies, program, yeah, you are evaluating a program, you are assessing the merit of a program, right? You are assessing whether the efficacy of a program. Um, let's say you have developed a program and then you just want to find out whether the program um, is meeting the needs of or is addressing the needs of the beneficiary of the, of the program, right? So you conduct research, you try to find out um, whether um, the, the program's activities are meeting the needs, right? Or whether um, in the objective of the program are consistent with the needs of your beneficiaries. So it's all about assessing the program. Um, you can look at a program element like um, the inputs, that kind of the resources that you put in the program. You can assess the resources. The, you can assess the activities, how the resources are used to accomplish the program goals. You can assess the program goals and see whether it's consistent with the outcome or with the behavior changes that has happened to participants or the beneficiaries of the program. So the ultimate goal is to assess, assess the merit of a program. And when we go to the utilization of the findings, in terms of traditional research, what you, the essence of the finding is to use um, them to um, fill the gap in the literature, right? So I, I also I talk about the fact that, you know, in order to do traditional research, you have to identify a gap in the literature, right? You see what has been done and see what needs to be done and you'll be able to conduct research to fill that gap. So you use the finding to fill the gap. In terms of uh, action research, 
you are the, uh, the using the findings to develop an action plan to address the practical problem that you have identified right you develop an action plan so so this means that you first have to um, identify or encounter a problem right that you want to address in your profession then you um develop your maybe action research research question right and then you call it data and analyze the data and then you are you use it to address the problem but before you address the problem you have to develop an action plan action plan action plan is what kind of activities that you tend to do to address based on the findings in you intend to do to address the practical problem so um, when it comes to program evaluation the ultimate uh, the utilization of the finding is used to improve the program right so that's that's a sense of you evaluating the program you are evaluating the merits of the program and after that you'll be able to use the findings to improve the program right I mean sometimes you, you just want to use it to understand the program whether everything is going on well as planned um, whether um, the participant needs are met are being met so this is the ultimate goal um, in terms of program evaluation when it comes to what should exist right before you conduct traditional research you should have a pro research problem before you can conduct traditional research without a research problem it's very difficult for you to conduct traditional research right um, and how do you develop a research problem? You go back to the literature, you identify a problem in the literature, and you'll be able to um, conduct research. After having a research problem, you develop the purpose of your study, right? What exactly you want to do in a study, right? And then after developing the purpose of your study, you ask yourself, what questions should I answer? Am I going to answer based on the purpose of your study? This means that there should be a consistency between the purpose and your research question. And you think about what methodology should I use to help me to collect rich data to address my research question that I have. And then you, you collect your data and analyze, and then you uh, use it to mm, understand the phenomenon and then fill the gap that you have identified. When it comes to action research, it's a little bit different um, um, in terms of the prerequisite, in terms of the, what should exist, the practical problem. You should have a practical problem before you can conduct action research. But you have to identify a practical problem or practical problem is a problem that is really has indirectly or directly experienced by the researcher or um, a practitioner so as they are carrying out their day-to-day -day activities um, um, or as, as they, um, he or she is uh, carrying out uh, his uh, or her day-to-day -day activity so when it comes to program evaluation before you conduct program evaluation there should be a program right um, there are three types of the program program uh, in terms of maybe um, yet to be implemented program right and then we have um, existing program or the program that is being implemented and also completed program the program that has been completed there should be a program or there should be an existing program before you can conduct program evaluation so these are the basic difference between action research pro, uh, program evaluation and also traditional research so then what is the definition of an action research I think this one will help you um, so let me see so an action research is a systematic process of identifying a practical problem collecting and analyzing data to better understand the problem which may sometimes include implementing an initial intervention to see its effect and using the findings to develop an action plan to address the problem so that's all about action research uh, program evaluation is um, a systematic, systematic process of um, assessing the worth of a program through 
the examination of beneficiary uh, beneficiaries I said beneficiary <laughs> sorry about it beneficiaries needs and program activities goals and outcomes so this is you know um, a summary of what I've already talked about in terms of traditional research you already know it's a systematic, systematic process of inquiry where you identify a research problem you collect the data to address the problem right and use the findings also to contribute to the field right of knowledge so that's all about the differences and if you want to get access to this information you can go to um, when you go to you can even google Philip Edu when you google Philip Edu um, slide slides slide share so you'll be able to um, access all my um, information uh, in terms of my um, diagrams and PowerPoint about research so I hope you learned a lot concerning this uh, feel free to like my video or share my video um, thank you for watching and have a nice day